All right, so we got this airbag and we want to send out the prism with a bang. So we're going to hope it doesn't actually catch on fire because we have very limited fire suppression out here. But uh, we also didn't have any just regular wire and I also wasn't going to sit here and touch this to a battery. So what I did, I put these uh, spade connectors on it and I'm going to use my extension cord, like just one 20 volt wall extension cord. And I'm just going to shove the spades in the like female end and tape them up and then just touch 12 volts to the other end on the male end of the prong very far away and it's going to work hopefully and blow up and don't try this at home I guess we're in Mexico as usual I really hope this works though I know, me too. Oh, smashing the front end? Yeah. yeah. This thing's wrecked. Dude, it's beat. Jesus. Hey, look, no more turbo kit. That's so bad. What are you doing right now? Are you? I'm just. It's not that bad. You can cut this end off and just get a replacement end. Oh wait, this isn't even mine. This is the one out of the garage. Oh, I need a can. Then. <laughs> Did you want to get some flour for this? Go ahead. All right, so we got the airbag in the car. We got it wired. Now he's just gonna check and make sure that it'll all work when we wanna blow the switch. So here I'm doing a safety pre-check to make sure my detonator isn't gonna pre-detonate. So all I'm doing right now is checking if this has voltage with it turned off, like without the car start switch turned. Just cause this thing also will tell you the voltage, negative voltage even better. All right, we're good. All right, so I just wanted to do that because this thing also measures voltage and I want to have a chance of it blowing the airbag as soon as I hook it up to these cables before turning the switch. All right, fire extinguisher just in case. Oh yeah. <laughs> We're actually prepared for this one for once. Yeah, I feel good. Right just tell me when you're about to do it because I want to put my phone somewhere. So. All right, so we're ready to blow this up. And Brendan's a little bit too close, but you know, he's got balls. So. Yeah, Brendan got balls too. Um, right, Brendan? I don't want to be the one to be that close. Damn it. All right, it might blow up when I do this, so I don't think so. It shouldn't. I like, guess not the idea. All right. So now I should just have to turn this. And I'm gonna be really disappointed if nothing happens. Give like a countdown so I can. All right. From what? I don't care. Five. It could even right, be I'll three. Go five. All right, right? Yeah. Five, four, three, two, one. That was awesome. I'm that was. I I'm that. really happy we <laughs> that did was that. Was great, <laughs> dude. That was great. The flower worked. <laughs> oh yeah, we put. That flour. was sick. Though. That was great. Are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, is it mint? Should be. The wire's shot out. That's <coughs> fine. Oh, God, that stuff stinks. Yeah. And I can use these connectors. Cool. Oh, yeah. That was a fun that idea. That was fun. Did it even do anything to the car? I don't think so. Not really. Blew up. Well, it was fun. If we faced it upside down, it would have rocketed that other part upwards. Maybe if we tell Ryan we did this without him being here, he'll let us blow up the Nissan one so he can see it. And we'll face that one down so it'll shoot up. That's what we should have done in the first place. All right, guys, there you have it. Oh, well. <laughs>